Greetings and welcome to the Thursday Morning Vodcast podcast. Do or do not, there is no try. I was not here to talk about May the 4th be with you. And as most of you know, I am a ginormous fan of Star Wars. It is my first memory of life. The very very first thing that I can remember is sitting in a theater with my uncle, my grandmother, my mother and father. And I really believe that there was more family there. I think there was a uh, you know, uh, a plethora of Oliveras and Greens and Crown and Shields and Alexos in the crowd that day. And uh, the only thing I remember about the movie, I mean, I remember images, but I do remember the very end scene, uh, the Death Star scene. And I remember TIE fighters just roaring across the screen and being amazed as a child for the first time to see something like that, being like, what the fuck? How did they do this? What is going on here? Um, but I was also two years old, so those memories fade quickly. How are you, Billy Bumblers, doing out there today? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, I have made contact with an old friend, an old friend from long ago. And it's been nice reconnecting with them because I hadn't talked to them in years. And I didn't honestly know um, if I ever would talk to them again. So it's been it's been nice to reconnect with my good friend, Gary. Um, A lot of times, often nearly a daily basis i look at houses i want to move back to new england or the upper north and east northeastern area my words are not working with my mouth today so just hang tight i want to move out to the northeastern area i want to live in you know maybe eastern mid-eastern new york uh vermont or new hampshire in the white mountains why was I talking about moving? Oh, that's right. I came across a house. I, I can't, I, I'd never be able to find it now because it wasn't one of my favorite houses. But sometimes what I'll do is I'll go out and I'll look at a map just to see how close the nearest Walmart is. Now you're thinking, Jay, you don't want to shop at Walmart. You fucking hate larger corporations. I do it all the time. But here's the thing. If there's a Walmart, there's other things. There could be a Best Buy. There could be multiple grocery stores they could be fast food not like i'm a huge fan of fast food but knowing that that's all there as long as it's within like a 28 minute drive i always feel comfortable and when i was looking at the map i saw a business called crazy horse racing so you would think that that's probably like a race car place where they work on cars oh no not 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 this gentleman right here i read it as crazy horse like crazy horse racing not crazy horse racing crazy horse racing and racing not raising (laughs) um and in my head i couldn't get it out of there i'm like what do they do at this place is it like slightly off horses that like run around a track and sometimes make it to the finish line that was my first thought i'm like crazy horse racing like how crazy are these horses (laughs) and what are they doing to, to be crazy how did they how did they get called crazy like clearly they were like the runt of the litter or there was something mentally wrong with them of course i mean i don't i don't want to accuse them of of, you know being slow or anything but crazy horse racing and then when it finally hit me i laughed like like a little fool and i started to think about the owners of that company and i started to think did they have that same thing happen to them when they sat down or they're just like let's call it crazy horse racing or were they like yeah but people are gonna think crazy horse racing and they're going to show up and expect to see like crazy horses running around like maniacs probably not but in my head i watched this conversation unfold and i i just thought it was the funniest thing in the world i don't know if you find it funny but i i find it hilarious um google maps is a fun fucking thing especially like looking at places where you've been or or just roaming streets in other countries like it's nice to knowing that I probably won't see everywhere in the world. My, my goal in life was to see as much of the world as possible. Not, not all of my goals, just one of my goals. I wanted to see as many countries as I possibly could before I died. And I've managed to do two, the United States and Bermuda. Is that a country? Yeah, that's a country. I'm going to have to look that up. 
And it, it, that, that's, that's my only disappointment in life is that I haven't been able to see more of the, the country itself or, or the world. And I'm sure eventually I'll get around to it. But, you know, the older you get, you start to think about these things. Like, am I ever going to see Guam? Will I ever go to Indonesia? You know, am I ever going to eat, you know, authentic Chinese food in China? I don't know. And that bums me out. So as you guys know, I've been working on my other podcast, High From Space, and, and a conversation came up last night that I in, in, instigated. Um, and I don't know. Oh, I know how it popped in my head. I was taking the dog out, and usually my dog freaks out when he sees squirrels, but I think he's getting used to them now because we have so many in the yard this year. I've lived here 16 years, and I've never seen this many squirrels in the yard, and it's probably because we're putting out a bunch of, you know, bird food. But I, th I saw the squirrel... And I saw him burying something, and I thought, oh, there's his stash. That's his nut stash. And I'm like, I wonder, do squirrels respect each other enough that if they come across another squirrel's nut st stash, is that right? Yeah, nut stash, um, do they leave it alone or do they just fucking take it and bring it back to their stash? So the conversation went on, and apparently squirrels aren't, aren't the smartest folk in the animal kingdom. They forget a lot of times where they hide their, their nuts. Jesus, squirrels, nuts, nuts, squirrels, chipmunks. It's a war, I tell you. I'll tell you all about it someday. Um, but like what an asshole thing to do. So I guess if you stumbled across a nut stash that wasn't yours, you may not even know that it wasn't yours if you're a squirrel. Do you understand what I'm saying? I don't quite get it. Saturday night, I'm going to be filming... At least one person eating the little nitro. Um, I'm going to show you guys some footage. Not here. I'm going to put together something later today, maybe tomorrow, which entails the original eating of this bear. <clears throat> and uh, I will tell you, the little bit of it that got into my mouth was horrendous and hot. It didn't last long, but I'm assuming if you chew on a gummy bear, I don't know, 30 seconds or so, like, that shit's going to get all over your mouth. Um, I've watched several handfuls of videos of people uh, eating the little nitro. And the, the thing that bugs me the most is that it's a 50-50 thing. A lot of people can't handle it. It's awful. And, and they, you can tell. Some people throw up. You know, people are freaking out, walking around, thinking they're going to die. And then there's the others that handle it like it's nothing. And I'm like, where am I going to fall on that? Well... Mother's Day rolls around on Sunday, so I don't know if I'm going to do it Saturday night because I don't want my tummy to have troubles the whole day on Mother's Day. I want Carol to have a nice Mother's Day. So I might back out of that. I don't think you guys are disappointed in that, are you? I mean, I'm sure you'd love to see me burn. You always do. However, I don't want to ruin Mother's Day. So it makes sense to me to kind of back out of it. I don't know. Maybe I'll find the courage that night to just toss it in my mouth, eat it, and I'll be fine. Or I'll end up with a terrible stomach ache the next day and just ruin everything. I'm so good at ruining everything. It's my specialty. You need something ruined? Let me know. I'll take care of it. You need your house white trashed up a little bit? I can come by and take care of that. For a small fee, of course. Nominal fee. Mm, small. Nominal. Uh, yeah. So that's that's been my morning thus far. I've got to feed children now, I suppose. I mean, they, they're old enough. They can feed themselves. They're fine. When, how old were you when you started cooking for yourself? I was probably around like 10 or 11, and I'm not talking about cooking because I didn't really learn to cook. I still haven't learned to cook, but I'm at an age now that I can whip some shit together and it doesn't taste terrible. When I was young, Saturday mornings were for Muppet Babies and Hunt's Tomato Sauce. <clears throat> I would take a bowl, uh, pan fill it with, you know, the uh, eight ounce, I think, can of Hunt's tomato sauce, add a little pinch of sugar in there, some salt, some pepper, grab some snowflake rolls from Shaw's, which are just the softest, but when they come to the edge, the way they're formed is this like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's a, it's a thicker bread. It's a, there's a effort that has to be put into your mouth to actually bite through it. Not, not, not a lot of effort, but more than the rest of the bun. And I used to love to just dip that in the sauce and eat it and watch Muppet Babies. That was my Saturday mornings. And now there's no Saturday morning cartoons. I can't believe that I live in a world where there is no such thing as Saturday morning cartoons. I'm sure, you know, you have channels that are all cartoons now, so you could watch them. But when I was growing up, getting through the week and getting past Friday and going to bed 
was one of the most exciting parts of my week because I knew I got up in the morning I could have Hans tomato sauce and watch some cartoons. What were some of your favorite cartoons growing up? Go ahead, I'll wait. Oh, really? Interesting. I didn't, I never really liked that. That was the typical Transformers, G.I. Joe, Thundercats, uh, you know, that, that, that generation of kids. Um, and I think it was the best generation. All you other generations can eat my shit because you're nowhere as cool as my generation. What generation is that? Are we Generation X? Gen X? Is that what we're being called? What came after that? Z? What's, what's the next one? Generations. Why, why do we have to name generations? Like, why can't we just be like, those who were born in the 50s, those who were born in the 60s have learned that blah, 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 blah. I don't know. I guess it's a fun thing to do. You name everything. Lighter. Thread. Well, that's about it for my morning. I'm going to let you guys go. I just had some interesting things pop into my head the last few days, and I, I wanted to share them with you. So if you got anything else that you'd like me to share with you, or if you'd like to share with me, or if there's something down, you know, put something in the comments down below if you got something that I'd like, you'd like, no, or ha, 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 in the comments down below, put any questions or, or anything you'd like me to review or eat, and I'll do my best to, to, uh, to fulfill those wishes for you. But for now, if you guys are loving watching these as much as I'm loving making them, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, and hit the little bell icon. It'll let you know every time I put out a new video. Don't forget to make somebody smile today and take care of each other out there. I'm Jason Oliveira, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode of the Podcast Podcast. Good night, and boy, howdy.